Welcome back to the Salvation Links. Today we are continuing with the series we started, which is the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth. We're going to be talking about the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth, and our topic today is Get Peace. Get Peace. There are so many problems on Earth today. Many problems on earth, everybody scrambling for peace, marital problem, family problem, financial problem, sickness, security, and all kind of problems. And one of the biggest problems I would like to pray for today is the problem that which we ourselves inflicted on ourselves. You see, in America here, um, one of the best way to learn is to learn from other people's mistakes. Believe me, don't try to learn from your mistakes because you might not be alive to actually learn from mistakes. Let me tell you one example. Let's say you are one of those people that like to drink and drive. God forbid, but if you have an accident and you die, you're not going to be able to learn from that, right? Because you're dead. But when you see other people unfortunately they got drunk they died then your mind you'll be able to learn that whoa this is not a good thing i will not drink and drive and that is one way for you to learn from other people's mistakes the other one is i remember when we came to america many years ago and uh, all of a sudden we see some of um, the people that were here before us, they will lock them off for what they call child support. What is this child support? Oh, child support is when you, a man, have a baby with a woman you are not married to. The government here forces you to pay for child support. Now, this is the most painful part of it. The child support you are to pay is according to the money you are making. Whoa! So if you make big money, you pay big child support. I know if you watch news recently uh, about our president in America, uh, Joe Biden's son, that is paying almost, if I'm paraphrasing, about $20,000 a month to, for child support because he has the money. So this got to do with according to how much you are making. So we all learn that <laughs> don't just go out there because you know young people said i can do anything i want to do is my body yes if you get a woman pregnant you pay all your paycheck on child support and when you refuse to pay from the state i am they will take your license and when they take your license you can't drive how do you go to work if you live in suburb as we do that would be so terrible you can't imagine that so the biggest look our biggest enemy is ourselves. Take it from me. It's ourselves. Sometimes we know what to do and we refuse to do it. I will tell you as we continue because I also, when I went to Nigeria, I met some ladies in Nigeria that they will tell you, oh, I own my body. I can do whatever I want to do with it. Time will tell you. When the time comes, my sister, please learn from other people's mistake. You don't want to do that thing. There are some serious mistakes we did when we were younger. Some of us are regretting it now at the old age. Tell me about grace. The grace will not remove the mark you created. God will forgive you, give you opportunity to go to heaven, but that situation you created, you look, okay, for instance, let's say you went and get drunk and you had an accident, they amputated your leg. Yes, God will forgive you, but get, do you have another leg? No, the, the leg is not there anymore. Did you see how it is? God will help us. That brings us to the Bible verse today. Bible verse today is from Proverbs 7, uh, 16, verse 7. Let me bring it up for you. Proverbs 16, verse 7 said, When people's life please the lord even their enemies are at peace with them that is new translation new um living translation let me read the one from america I like the n n a s b uh, baby version he said when a person's way are pleasing <laughs> to the lord he causes even his enemies to make peace with him the bible is making us to understand when your way when your way pleases the lord the lord will cause your enemies to be at 
peace with you. When you please the Lord, your enemies will be happy with you. One of the biggest problems we have as Christians is that we do not read our Bible. Faith comes by spending time hearing and studying the word of God. I added all that to it. You see, today we have many false prophets and teachers, but the Lord is still in control. How do you get yourself out of that situation? And how do you even be able to please the Lord? Is for you to study the word of God. One good thing, you see, our God is setting us up. Some of us don't even know it. You say me, oh, Evan, it's Obi, it is uh, time consuming to sit down and read the Bible. Yes. But guess what God did? <laughs> God created something called cell phone. Even on today's, did you notice that uh, in, here in America, you can hardly find any car, uh, uh, any car that has a CD player or tape player. And uh, everything that has to do is connected to your phone. So on your phone, you can download 20, 30 different type of Bible versions and translations, and you can do what? Play them. Let them read it back to you. You see, I, sometimes I do a, a little bit travel, and when I'm traveling, the first thing I do when I jump into my car in the morning after I pray is I just play the Bible. I just play the Bible. I love listening to the stories of the Old Testament when I'm driving. <laughs> because when you listen to the Old Testament, you're like, whoa, I'm not saying you should be doing it. So you, you listen to it. And some of my friends said they will, they will play the New Testament when they are sleeping. And it goes into their subconscious mind. It becomes their dream. So in the beginning, you know, it, it, is, it is when you start playing it, it will start making sense to you. Sometimes when you read, maybe you don't understand it that much, maybe because of the way you read it. But when 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 the when your cell phone plays it back to you, it becomes like somebody telling you a story. It becomes like somebody actually preaching to you. I love listening to the New Testament when I'm alone, not driving in my study room with my books ready. And it's like I'm really listening to Paul Apostle talking to me one on one. That's how it is. You know, I okay. I like to do this with a surround system, all right? <laughs> I like to be, if I'm in my, in my study room, I like to just bring it up a little bit so I don't hear my, my people upstairs making noise. Just do that. Or if you don't want, you have this double earpiece and then you listen to it in Jesus' name. And it will speak to you. It's like preaching into you. You will see, you will hear so many words of God. Try it. Use your cell phone, not just you sitting down there and gossiping with it, not just you sitting down there going to the website, doing things you're supposed not to do. Use it for your own benefit. Try to be your own friend, not enemy, right? Start from yourself. I'm trying to make you to understand that one of the biggest enemy you have to get rid of is yourself because most of like 70 or 80 percent of the time, the problem is we, we that created it, right? From our ignorance in Jesus' name. Now, remember, the Bible said in the beginning was already, the word of God already existed in the beginning and the word was with God and the word was God. John 1, 1, if the word of God had been there at the beginning and the word of God is written in the Bible. <laughs> so what do we do? So the Bible is written by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. It is the word of God. It is powerful. Understand this, that to understand God and enjoy the kingdom of heaven on earth you must study here understand and practice the word of god to be a doctor you have to go to school to be an engineer you have to go to school everything in our life to even be a mechanic you have to be an apprentice somewhere or go to mechanical school and when you finish, now you use what you have studied. So when you study the word of God, now you take the word of God and you use it. You put it into work and you activate it by faith. Because the word of God that you have studied, it is nothing but power and is full of action. As a citizen of kingdom of earth on earth, you must have peace in Jesus' name. That means you must Study your word and follow the instruction that is given to us by the grace of God. Peace will surely come into your life. Now, remember what we studied today. 
He said, when a person's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. I remember one thing is that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So most of the sin we sin that is out of our body, I'm not saying it's good or it's not good, but be careful when you sin against your body because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You see that same body you said is yours? That you can do whatever you want to do with it. No, the Bible said that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It has been paid for by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. You can mess with it. <laughs> that is why when you do things against your body, God don't like it. I know it, it, it is, it, you can say, though I'm beautiful. I can do whatever I want to do with my body. It is my life you are messing with the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you, that young man too, that think you can put any alcohol. Unfortunately, there are some young men I knew many years ago in America here. They came in here. They would defend the reason why they got to smoke weed. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's not good. But I realize that anytime they smoke that thing, they are a little bit slow in things they do. I don't want to, I know that when you drink alcohol, ooh, I mean, I, on the alcohol, I understand because I used to drink before. I'm not the same. But it, 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 it slows down your, the way you think. But I keep telling them, you know, the, the thing is that, okay, if this thing is not working for you, leave it alone. Okay, learn from other people. Unfortunately, some of them end up, they got deported. Because things they're supposed to do, they are not doing it. And things they're supposed to be, not to do, that is what they are doing. You know, yes, the Bible said, when I do what I do and not what I want to do, it is the word, the devil that is inside me that is making me to do. But the same Bible will tell you, resist the devil and it will flee from you. Now, nah, you see what I'm saying? That is why you need to study the Bible because what? It is the power of the Holy Spirit. So today, as a kingdom citizen on earth, I'm excited. Don't, don't worry about me. As a kingdom citizen on earth, stop being your own enemy. Your enemy, the first enemy you want to conquer is yourself. Yourself. Stop being your own enemy. Follow the rules, the regulations in the Bible. Turn your cell phone to be a storyteller. Let him tell you the story of the Bible. Let him read it to you. Play it when you're driving. Play it when you're walking. You have your Bluetooth or your earpiece, whatever. Play it when you're sleeping. My God, if you want to enjoy yourself on this art, when you finish playing it, then put it into practice and hold the Lord to his word. Tell God, this is what you said. I have done this. I have done that. Father, have mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. I can continue saying this all day, but I want to thank God for your life. Let me just pray. Father, I pray for your children. I pray that the Spirit of God will be upon them. Father, give them peace. Give them peace. Give them peace. Your word said that the Spirit of God will give us peace by all means. Father, give us peace. Let your peace to be upon their lives. Let their peace to be with them. Do not let them to be their own enemy. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the word that you have spoken through me. And I know, Father, it is, it is, it is fire. Father God Almighty, it will heal them. It is your spirit that makes them to listen. It is your spirit that led them to come to you. Father, let this word touch them. Let it help them. Encourage them. Father God, in the name of Lord Jesus, whatsoever it is that is bothering them in their whatever problem they are going through, Holy Spirit, let them have peace in Jesus' name. For your word of God said, the Lord will give you peace by all means. In the name of Lord Jesus, Second Thessalonians 3, 16, he said, the Lord will give you peace by all means. If you study the word of God and practice them, I pray that the mercy of God will be upon your life in Jesus' name. Don't, have, don't get me wrong. It might be rough a little bit at the beginning. But hold on. The Lord is with you. For you hearing this word, you're blessed. Now share this to your, with your friends. Share it to all people that you want them to hear. As you're sharing, you too, you are becoming um, an evangelist. And the Lord will bless you. Bless everything you lay hands upon. And give you peace by all means. In Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless you.